everybody, Sponge Murphy here and welcome back to another Let's Paint Tranquil and Bone Ripper video. Right, in this video it's coming up to the end of getting Bone Ripper finished, I believe. I think the next video after this will be the last one on just painting Bone Ripper. Then we're going to move on to painting Tranquil and then we're going to move on to getting a big scenic base made up for him. So in this video I'm going to be working on some of the smaller parts like the red cloth around his neck and probably a bigger part then which is the big uh, what can I think of it? Oh, the big warpstone powered backpack on him that gives him all his good power and it gets him going. So, uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. It's a bit quicker than the other ones, but I believe the next video is just going to be finishing off everything else that's in it. So. Yeah, we're nearly there. We're so close. Only maybe three or four more videos left in this. But uh, it's been great. It's been a blast. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. And I'll see you in the next one. Alright, so... The only bit of cloth that I can see for now <laughs> is the part around his neck and kind of the groin cloth down at the bottom here. So I'm going to go back to, like I said before, with corn raid. Which is... I'm kind of a little bit nervous because I picked corn red for this because it's a lot darker than the Mephiston red I used for the armor. But in the end, I ended up like making the Mephiston red way more darker than I originally planned uh, with a wash over to give it a more weathered look. So hopefully there will be a, a clear difference between these two reds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over all this cloth here, I'm going to go over the one at the bottom and then I'll come back to you guys and then we'll have a look at it from then. Okay, so I have the corn red on. It's looking pretty good, it's a nice colour. So to kind of darken it down, what I'm going to do is just like the armour, I'm going to go over it with Aircrax Earthshade and what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to highlight it with Evil Sun's Scarlet. So I'm going to put the wash on first, then I'm going to do the highlight of Evil Suns. Um, and then we'll see how I get on after that. I'll most likely just be doing the parts that are... If I can find my brush here. Kind of the higher up parts. You know, like the, the most featured ones. All the kind of higher edges, the edges of the sides, the edge sides of the cloth. And then again down along here on the bottom as well. So it should... Well, as I said, should I? I mean, I, it hopefully it'll look uh, pretty decent. I know there's a, there's a fair bit of a contrast between Evil Sun Scarlet and like a washed down corn raid, but hopefully it'll be alright. But we'll see how we get on in a second, anyway. Now, what I'm going to do in between drying times, I have the, the wash drying in the cloth pieces. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a start on his, I don't know what you call it, a backpack? I don't know, his energy source, uh, whatever it is. So, I wanted it to be like a bronzish type of color. I didn't really have any bronzish colors. So the closest I have is Retributor Armor. And I've kind of done a few test ones with the good old arms that I'd used before, or the swords. And I put a, a, a null and oil wash over it. And I think it darkens it enough. It still kind of looks like it's a gold colour instead of bronze. But I think once I add like parts of like silver highlights and stuff onto it, I think it'll work. And maybe I'd even have to put more than uh, one or two washes of null and oil over it. To really give it that kind of dark, rusty look. I don't think Agrax Earthshade is going to be enough to cover it, to really darken it down a whole lot. But I don't know, hopefully the null and oil part, I, I should be more prepared but I'm so close to getting this guy done that, you know, if I order another paint it's just going to take like another week for it to come and it's just going to delay finishing this big guy so much longer. Because he's nearly finished, I nearly have him done. Um, but it'll be another kind of little bit after this because I have Tanquil to finish as well. So he's going to be a whole separate video. And he's definitely going to take a bit more time as well. So I'm going to finish this off. Uh, once this is dry we'll have a look at both parts. The cloth and the backpack. I'll see what it's like once it's dry. I'll probably have to put two tin coats of this. 
um, of the gold color retributor armor so we'll see what it's like after that okay so I have some of the highlights finished on the cloth parts really bright vibrant red coming off it if anything it's a little bit too strong and um, I went a little bit bigger with the cloth here it kind of gives it a fiery look on the bottom uh, just to make it stick out a little bit more it's more of a design than uh, kind of highlights I would say but uh, I'm happy enough with it and then of course the back which is turning out pretty cool which one what color did I use again which color gold Retributor armor so and then yeah Retributor armor and then they did all the silver parts as well so you have like these kind of knobs and handles and stuff like that. Now there is the kind of warp stone, piece of warp stone powering it all up there in the back. I'll be doing that very last. But this is really starting to take shape. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna highlight all the kind of higher pieces with Rune Fang, Rune Fang steel on the bronze and on uh, the silver parts as well. So I went with the Nolan Oil wash over all this. And I'm gonna be highlighting it with Rune Fang steel. And then just to finish off this little piece, oh, I thought my camera was going to fall. And then, oh, get out of here. And then to finish off here, there's a couple of little stitches here which I'm going to go over with Screaming Skull. And then just since I have the silver out, I'm going to go over the chain mail part here, which will just be a uh, lead belcher uh, with a null and oil shade and then room fang seal highlight i'll just do that while i have it out now and that's going to be finishing up probably this video so i'll see you guys in a second and we'll see what it's like okay so i think i'm finally done i have the stitches here done with screaming skull with a acrex archhead wash over it just to kind of seal it together and it's looking really nice and i have the the chain mail here on the bottom all dry brushed up with room fang steel but important, most importantly the back part is finished as well and there is one little tiny part i have left to do on this which is oh well apart from the warp stone here is the, this little small tiny dial which is here i want to add a little bit of color to that when i get around to finishing this when i'm doing the last little bits so i want to add like a little bit of red and white into that but other than that it's all highlighted with room fang steel it looks really good so this is going to be the end for this video but the next video which will most likely be the last part of painting bone ripper because all i have left to do is we have the wooden parts which is like these little shield and insignia parts on the bottom of or on his waist then we have all the straps which will be around here and his belt as well then we're going to have the pipes along the back so we have one here and i have three other ones ready here to go on I have them based and everything so they're going to be getting painted up and stuck around here to connect all the weapons to the backpack uh, the bandages on his hands or on his arms they're all going to be getting painted up the, any teeth claws or horns so he'll have no teeth but have all these horns to do here um, and the nails on his toes and then obviously the smoke here as well which is a uh, it should look really nice because I'm going to try and do it all green and get it to look really cool. So hopefully you guys like this video. He's almost finished. We're almost there. And once after the next video, we're going to move on to painting Tankle. Which he's just full of detail. He's over there waiting to get painted. But I'm really happy how the backpack turned out. Um, it really sticks out from the back. So it's going to be pretty awesome getting all the rest of it finished. And then we can move on to doing Tankwell and then we're going to move on to doing the bass as well. So we're going to do a huge scenic bass because it's, bone, it's Tankwell and Bone Ripper. He needs a scenic bass. So hopefully you guys like this video. Make sure to hit the like button, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.